What's up, motorized bike enthusiast? I've got the PK40 back in action, and that's a whole nother story. Um, this thing is outright amazing. Um, it's a little stuff about these engines that starts to get to you. How can one be reliable, and the one that you just basically spent all of your I don't know, car insurance money on, or whatever it may be. Whatever you just spent your entire paycheck on is now in pieces. And, um, story on this one is pretty simple. Um, it, I was stupid. I over revved the engine. It got too hot. And it's actually something I've never seen before. Um, it got so hot that the needle bearing actually made indentations into the wrist pin. And it gouged out the wrist pin totally. On top of that, whatever happened to it, it also got way too hot. And it started to chunk up the cylinder. So... There was metal shavings and everything. Um, I've got the uh, BBR tuning uh, HD spring here. That's going to go in here. I've got the parts supposed to be here soon. I don't know. This is really frustrating. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got all the parts coming. I'm going to rebuild it. It's just time. And I don't like, I don't like that part. Guys, if I could take you into my garage right now, I would. Because the smell of a cold two-stroke is unbelievable. I don't know what it is, but if an engine has been sitting for, say, three months, and you go to fire it up the first time, oh, the smell is unreal. It's so good. It's like a pizza a pizza parlor only better whew man I need to tighten up the spark plug I forgot about that let me do that um yeah this thing is all reliable all faithful um I don't know what it is about these you either build one up and it's it's good it's reliable or you build one up and it's not and in this case it blew up so I'm um, actually kind of disappointed about that Let's see if I can get that tight the head on it was totally pitted up um, so I had to get rid of that and you know I bought that head because of looks. Um, I knew there wasn't going to really be a performance gain with a cheap head. So that's why I went for a high performance head that was cheap. And because I really wanted it for the looks. I, I really liked having the blue side covers. And I'm sure y'all seen those in the last video. Um, it was kind of theatrical. I painted the side covers blue and the gas tank looks absolutely terrible. But, yeah, it fell off my car and the paint got scratched up. So, I'll have to do something about that. Sand it down and repaint that one area or, I don't know. But, yeah, I wanted it to look really cool, really nice. And it blew up. So instead of spending $60 to buy a new head, I only really had to spend 30 And again, I'm not going for performance. I'm going, well, put it this way. I'm, I'm, I like the performance aspect of it. It's a high compression head. So the high compression... Plus the looks and the cheap price make it a really good combination. Bring you over here. Um, 
put it this way. It's a ported two-stroke uh, exhaust, totally ported, transfers, altered, um, at least that cylinder. Intake, the exhaust I was going to upgrade, but at this point I've spent so much time, money, and now tears into it. Forget the exhaust. We're running the straight pipe or muffler, muffler delete, whatever you want to call it. We're running that, and that's final. I'm not going to do any more. So, once I have it rebuilt, I really do hope that it just lasts. And I'm probably going to eat those words. So, we'll find out. Also, if you're wondering about this chain, chain breaker, it, uh, it broke just now. Um, these are really tough chains, the... I'll, I'll probably put a link in the video. It's going to be a longer video. Just kind of an update. I'll put a link in the description for the chain I used. These are really extremely tough chains. I think they're like $14, $15, $16. Um, they're just a weird brand. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but uh, it's Chinese for sure. So these chains are so tough. I actually tried to break it with a bicycle chain breaker and it totally destroyed it. Then, I mean, this thing has been good. You just have to line it up correctly and it works pretty good. But it, one of the pins broke. I might be able to just buy the pin or I'll probably have to replace the whole, whole thing. I don't know. We'll find out. So... What's been going on with me? Um, I'm trying to do a video monthly or once a month. So if you've noticed, I did one last month, the month before. I'm just trying to take it easy. I don't want to overdo it or anything. Um, just like now, I'm trying to give you all an update on the silver slant, as I'm calling it. Um, yeah, so... Got too hot. It was riding down the road. You know, funny enough, it had no signs of blowing up. I it was it was lined out really nice, and then all of a sudden it just decided to cough, 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 poof. It was done, and well, what can you say? So, I'm this close to pushing the four-stroke button and buying one. Um, if I do, though, I'll get another Cranbrook frame, and I know a guy on the Facebook Marketplace, Shh. I know a guy who has one of these somewhere around here, uh, not gonna say where, oh wait, I already did, no, um, this particular frame, um, it's definitely not the strongest, and, um, I really do worry about the rear dropouts failing, but I was able, I'm probably going to tension that chain up just a little bit. I, I need to do some work too. I just bolted this up. But the metal's good. The Arc Star chain tensioner, I'm going to do a whole video on that. Um, don't use the stock, stock hardware that they give you. For me, it just immediately stripped out. And two, it's, it's a long story. Don't get the original hardware. Don't Don't keep it. So. What else? Not much. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope to be rebuilding this mess and doing whatever with it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, one other thing before I go. Um, so I'm prop. So I I installed these crank bearings. I don't, I don't have a light. I installed these crank bearings in there. Now I'm starting to second guess because I might want to just throw all of these away that I have in here. I have a bunch of extra bearings on hand and no telling where these came from, right? So I'm going to pull those out and replace the seals. So that's one thing to think about when you're putting an engine. Uh, don't, don't, ex don't immediately start putting parts together so it's ready to go back together just build it up. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's update video, and I will talk to y'all later.